what's up guys my name is Zach and today I am driving a 1992 Ford Aerostar XL Plus up front is a 3.0 liter V6 and down below is a five speed manual factory manual transmission now I am super excited to be driving this Aerostar for two big reasons first of all it's a stick shift minivan from the 90s that is like the epitome of this YouTube channel. However, the second reason is the fact that I have quite a bit of experience with the Dodge, Plymouth, and Chrysler Caravan products from this era. And so it'll be interesting to compare those vehicles to this minivan of the same vintage. And so we have plenty to talk about here in today's video. But if you would like to submit your own vehicle, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form. It takes under a minute to fill out and I come out to you. But let's get back to that three liter V6 under the hood, better known as the Vulcan V6 from Ford. They used this in several of their products throughout the era and they used it for a very long time. There was also the four liter Vulcan and I've always enjoyed these engines. I don't think that they're anything spectacular. I don't think I'll be writing them a love letter anytime soon, but they work pretty well. They offer good torque and this is a V6 minivan from the era where there was a lot of four cylinders floating around. So this definitely was the nicer option. But like I said, Baird do it is a five speed manual transmission from the factory. It is great. It does have a long throw, but it's a minivan. So that's to be expected because there's a big distance to the ground. The shifter is really, really notchy and feels really good. Shifting it is nice and easy, but it's also very confident. It's not overly light. It feels a little bit more truck than car, but not in a particularly bad way. I love rowing through the gears in this Aerostar, and I never thought that that sentence would ever come out of my mouth, but here I am saying it today. It's fantastic and such a piece of history that we don't see anymore. It's hard to find a minivan at all, let alone with a stick shift, so that is quite special. Last but not least, of course, the Aerostar is rear wheel drive, which is kind of interesting, but definitely what I like to see. So how does it feel to drive the Ford Aerostar? Well, it drives mostly like other minivans of the era, of course, besides the fact that I'm rowing my own gears. Visibility is really good and the usability is really good. That's always been the shining star when it comes to the minivans, is that anyone with half a brain cell and a left hand could drive these well, and this one, you might need a right hand as well. Ride is okay, but I would say that the Chrysler minivans ride better from this era, but they have their own basket of cat issues, so I guess it's not fair to compare. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have five gauges. Off to the left is my oil pressure and coolant temperature. In the center is my speedometer, and off to the right is my battery voltage and fuel. On the steering wheel, we do get cruise control options as well as the horn buttons. And off to the left, we have our headlight and dome light as well as dimmer panel, a little climate vent. And then moving on to the door, we have our power mirrors, but then we have our power windows obscenely down below. This is by my left thigh. And so putting the driver's window up and down or any window up and down from the driver's position is incredibly taxing and incredibly annoying. This is terrible placement from Ford. I don't know how this slipped through the cracks, but well, here we are. Moving into the center, we do have our fan speed and climate controls, but we also have our rear climate controls. Very, very nice to see that, or at least rear fan speed. AC, where to send it, all of those normal features. Down below, we have our rear wiper and rear defrost, along with two climate control vents and the radio, which does have a cassette player. And this is the original Ford radio from 1992. Then we do have our ashtray and cigarette lighter, a cubby and the shifter, which is mounted down on the floor. Like I said, shifter feels great, very notchy, very lovable to drive. However, like I said, it does have quite the long throw because of the distance it has to travel. Now I do get a center console. However, this is not the factory center console. This is just bought at some aftermarket store. So unfortunately it's not the original, so we can't give the Aerostar a pass and it doesn't even really fit the big freaking bottle anyway so it would have been a fail no matter what. 
The seats are comfortable. These are seat covers, but the seats are pretty comfortable. I've enjoyed my time with them, but they are very minivan where you sit very up straight, up tight, and it's almost the seats that are whispering in my ear. I'm gonna turn this car around, I swear to God! Now I understand why so many parents were annoyed in the 90s. However, speaking of seats, we have two more rows of seating. So let's go do some back seat reviews. All right, so we're in the second row of the Ford Aerostar from 1992 and a couple of things to note. First of all, I only get a sort of half opening rear window. It's an obscenely tiny opening. Nothing like we find in modern minivans that have full roll downs. You just get a little gap. This center console is aftermarket as well and there are two captain's chairs. However, this isn't original to this van, but they were originally offered in Aerostars. Normally it would have a bench seat or at least this particular van normally came with a bench seat or had a bench seat from the factory, but the owner has swapped in the two captain's chairs and they're a lot more comfortable. So you could get it either way. The owner just swapped that after the fact. I also do have fan speed and some audio controls off to the left, as well as another half opening window. But let's hop into the third row and check it out from back there. In order to do that, there's a little lever here and you just pull this seat forward. And here we are in the third row. Very comfortable. I have climate vents back here in 92 for the third row. That's great. Is this thing on? Did you hear did you hear me? Climate vents in 92 in the third row. Fantastic. Lap and shoulder belts. Wonderful. Speakers. I mean, I'm comfortable back here and I'm in the back of a minivan. It's why minivans will remain on top when it comes to people movers and that's just it with the Aerostar. 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 Let's talk about the trunk and cargo space. All right, around the back of the Ford Aerostar. XL Plus from 1992, single key, and then handle here and pull it up. It is quite a big door and does take some muscle, but not all the muscle in the world. If I can do it, you can do it. We do have some cargo nets and some little cubbies over there, as well as we have cubbies down in the floor, which is very, very nice to see as well. And the owner put this in for me this morning. This is a dealer optional little cargo net. In case you park on an incline, you have any objects in here that might roll around. It's not gonna roll out the back because there's no lip back here to stop that. So a lot of vehicles, they have a sort of lip and then the floor goes down. So if anything rolls, it'll just hit that lip and not roll out and onto the ground. So if you carry a dozen eggs back here, don't worry, it'll be caught by the cargo net. Very, very cool. And we do have this giant pull strap right here to get it right back down. Like I said, pretty heavy door, but that's how they did it in 92. Now we gotta talk about the looks and I love this two or tri-tone if you wanna call it that. I love the paint scheme. I love the thin white walls on the tires. And 1992 was the first year of this body style or at least this updated body style. They wanted to make it more aerodynamic to compete with other minivans. That's sort of where it was going. And of course we know the Oldsmobile silhouette I think took the cake on that, but it was a more aero look where in the late 80s they had a little bit more of a boxy shape, which was typical of the era, but not very cool in the 90s. And Ford was trying to make this cool no matter how hard they tried. I love it. And you'll also notice that there's only a door on the passenger side and not on the driver's side. But again, very characteristic of the era. With all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving this Ford Aerostar XL Plus from 1992? Well, this has been an awesome experience. First of all, rowing my own gears in a minivan is always, always, always a pleasure. And the biggest thing was that I just wanted to share this awesome retro piece of history with you today. It's incredibly clean, it's incredibly well kept, and I always view my own YouTube channel as a sort of video museum for cars. And this has to be one of the centerpieces of that museum. It just has to be, it's wonderful. I mean, just look at it. If you have eyes, I mean, you're welcome. But comparing it to vehicles of the era, the Ford was definitely the most basic and the most straightforward. It was the least forgiving of any of the minivans. This doesn't have that plush ride that's found in the silhouette and the caravan. This seemingly doesn't have the attention to detail that those vans had. And what I mean by that is 
it feels like the switches and gauges were pulled out of the F-150 or Ranger at the time. So it doesn't feel as luxurious, but that's also a good thing too. It is more straightforward. I feel like anyone on planet Earth can get in and drive it pretty well. It's a no frills minivan. And so this was something that you would buy if you needed to move a lot of people a lot of the time. The Chryslers and the Silhouettes, yeah, you have kids and they go to soccer practice, but it also is a comfy car to drive around regularly. This is a little bit less friendly than those, but I have to say it's just doggone cool to be driving an Aerostar with a manual. It's just, uh, this this has been the highlight of my trip up here to Minnesota, and I absolutely adore it with all of my heart. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to CJ for letting me take out his Ford Aerostar. So awesome. I'm filming tons of CJ's vehicles here today that you've either seen on the channel or will see on the channel. He's wonderful. He's a great guy. Very, very knowledgeable. And I look forward to working with him again in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.